Can y'all stop escaping? <laughs> Guys, I have some adorable new merch. If you want to get your hands on it, click the link in the description for the merch store and check it out. It will only be available for a limited time as we'll be changing some of it out. So if you see something you like, get it while you can. Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of Cute Craft. Yes, I am still uploading this. I think I am the only person to upload it, but I am still persevering. This has slowly become Scott Builds a Zoo Craft in a single player world. That's basically what this is now. But I enjoy it and you all seem to too, so that's fine. So. Today we are building another enclosure, I know, shocker, and the animals we're building an enclosure for is going to be a rhino, a giraffe, meerkats, and a zebra. I'm going to put them all into the one enclosure. I think that'll be the best way to do it, but I just need to decide where I want to do it because I can't go too far that way because Shelby Circus is over there. And then obviously I chose this area because it was encased in the hills, which is now proving to be an issue. And I kind of wanted to keep everything behind my house, but... The way I'm thinking I might be better doing this is moving some things. So I'm gonna, I think, cut this out of here. Okay, so we've cut that and now let's go over here. And where would be a good place for this? Maybe down here? Okay, yeah, that looks fine down there. I'm just gonna move a lot of my portals, I think. Okay, so that is that portal moved down. And then the Anubis one, I don't really have any intention of ever going back here, so I'm just gonna break it. Because the Anubis area is scary. Okay, that's all set to grass, which actually is going to make a good area for my next enclosure. Because the four animals I'm doing need quite a lot of space. So I want to use, I think, maybe the steel bars. Because I'm thinking if I maybe in case, like, Quite a large area, not all of it, because I will eventually want this space for other animals as well. But I think a good size, because as I said, there are four different animals that are going to be living in it, so it needs to be a good size for them. Okay, I think that's a good size. I think they should be fine in this. Now I want to see if I can be extra smart. And if I do this to that, and then do, Copy and paste. Aha! Look, I did it. I did a thing. Now it's too high. And it meant I didn't need to awkwardly ground and place it all. I am a genius. You are all welcome. Now all I need to do is just go around the top and pop on the steel grate. Okay, perfect. Now I want to replace some of this with sand. Not all of it, but like maybe a good portion. Just because I know the meerkats live in sand and like burrow underground. Okay, so this is a nice little sand area. I am going to just build a little hill for the meerkats. You're not meant to be in here. Can I take you on a lead and fly you out? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Dead. It's fine. Okay, then I want to use acacia wood. Actually, could I just plant acacia saplings? Okay, cute. Need to get rid of those. And then I think I want to get some water as well to build just a little. Oh, I know. It would look really cute to have like a little river separating the desert area from the rest. I mean, the animals can swim, so like, they can still get through. I just think this could look really cute. I also need to see what block I used for under this, because I will need to go around and do the trim of this as well, because I want to keep it somewhat consistent. I mean, it's not like there is anyone on the server who is seeing it, but I know and you all know. And I may not be a professional or a particularly coherent YouTuber, but if I'm anything, it's consistently building the same thing. Okay, so that is the trim of that done. I have my little river in. Now what other like 
decoration block is there that they might like? Is there anything? Not really. I don't know if they would use a scratching post. Wait, there's river stones? I'm going to just pop a few of these around in the water just because they look... I mean, no one is seeing... Not a single soul is noticing that I have done this. But again, I know. So, there's that. I'm also just going to pop some sea lanterns under the water. You know what I can do? I can go over to this enclosure and I can copy my little rocks and I can just deposit these around. And then I want to grab some stone and I want to build a kind of rock. Just a couple little rocks. And then I think I also want to put down some vegetation. Because like the rhinos can't get up to the trees to eat. Only the giraffes can. Okay, that's really cute. Okay, I'm into this. Now I want some fairy lights. Because you can always do with fairy lights. And let's maybe do the orbs. I think the orbs could be cute. And I kind of want to do them in yellow and orange just because it's kind of the vibe of the savannah and such. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're going to put in a little crafting table. We're going to put our string and our iron with our two fairy lights. And then we'll just do one, two, two. Adorable. And then just another two sets, I think, like that. Okay, that's really cute. Okay, I'm really into it. Now, let's get our animals. So, we're gonna spawn a couple of the little meerkats. Oh no, don't go into, don't drown. No, get out of the water. Please get out of the water. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was about to drown. I was about to be heartbroken. Turns out the meerkats have no intention of staying in their area, so that's fine. Oh, whoa. What is that? Why is the meerkat following the rhino? Leave the rhino alone. Oh my goodness. I love this enclosure. Maybe a little bit crowded. The zebra has decided to come over here, so I will spawn his friend over here. The drafts can just walk over the river. They don't care. But look at it. It's so cute and the little noises they make. I may have spawned too many meerkats. I'm not going to lie to you. They were just so small and so cute. And I just kept clicking. That may have been a horrible, horrible mistake. But at least they don't seem to fight anything, which I thought they were about to. So now we need to get on to the fun part, and that is the naming part. So I have put out a community post asking um, my members what names they would like to see animals named, and they came up with a bunch of super cute ones. So we have Smallfoot, then we have Benny, Donny, Selma, we have Bagel and Buttons, which fun fact was the name of my sister's childhood rabbit. So the more you know, get that on the Wikipedia. Xavier and, and Bella. So I'm going to name these ones around and see how many animals we still have left that don't have names. So I'm going to start with my red pandas and you can be Smallfoot, you can be Donny, and you can be Selma. And how did you get how did you get out? Can you jump two blocks high? Have I made a mistake? How have I done? What? Wait a minute. Let me put you into a net. Come here. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I figured out how they're doing it. It's this rock. Bad rock. Okay. Everyone, please stay in your pens. So I then want the giraffes to be buttons and bagel. Wait, why is there only one rhino? Where's the other rhino? We have had an escapee. Where has it gone? Okay, no, I got him. So you can be Benny and you can be Xavier. I've got the zebras. So going off the membership name suggestions, we also have Lily, Sheena, Gloria, Aaron, Milo, Paddington, and Jenny. Now I'm hoping this will be enough names for the meerkats. Okay. Lily. Please get out of the water, Sheena. What is that? Raw bush meat. Which makes me feel like someone has died. Bagel, please stop doing that. Someone has died. I'm not sure who. Gloria. There you go. Okay, I need whatever. I need some, one of you to stay still and long enough for me to name you. There, you can be... No, come back. 
You can be Aaron. I want you to be Milo. That's Paddington, actually. I need you to get out of the ground so I can see if you're named. You're not. You're Milo. And I just need to find Jenny. Are you Jenny? Jenny! Okay, thank goodness that was stressful. So, guys, we finally managed to make a new enclosure. We Wait, why are the drafts out? Can y'all stop escaping? Buttons. Get back in here. Am I going to need to, like, break everything that's, like, too high? Because I will. You've done that to yourself. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cute Craft. If you did, remember to leave a like. As I said in the video, I get up, oh, I'm being eaten by a giraffe. I didn't see that in the video. As I said earlier, all my name suggestions I take from my memberships on my channel. So if you want to join that and have your name be picked for a future animal in a future series, it does not need to be cute craft. I post in the community tab there to members only, and there are actually four tiers of members that you can choose from. So you can actually be a royal subject for the low price of 99 pence. You get access to a discord and a bunch of adorable emotes and badges next to your name in the comments. You can be a knight and you get access to all the things before and you get access to being asked if I want name suggestions and community only posts. You could go for the third tier which is a unicorn and with that you get all of the above and you also get super adorable custom wallpapers each month for your phone and then if you want to be a queen you can go for the top tier and with that you get access to merch early when i release new stuff and you also get a discount on the merch so if you like merch it's a win 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 but i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think of the enclosure below remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel hit that like button hit notification bell so you do not miss a video and i will see you all next time bye